students myself pawan kadam i am assistant professor and head department of chemistry shri venkatesh arts commerce and science college bengaluru friends today we will discuss a topic nomenclature of coordination compounds that is iipsc rules of coordination compounds so how to give the name to the coordination compounds according to the iipsc rules now see the we will see the first iipsc rules so first only the cation is named before the anions now in this example we can observe that the cation that is the pentamine chlorocobalt it is named first and then the anionic part that is the cl2 that is the chloride is named next now we will see the naming the coordination sphere so how to give the name to the coordination sphere so that in the coordination spheres there are the metal and the ligands are present and we will give the name to the ligand first in the alphabetical order and followed by the name of the metals now we will see here in this example chromium nh3 6 3+ so in this coordination sphere the ligands are the nh3 that is amine and metal is the chromium and the name is written like that hexamine chromium 3 ions so now we will see the one by one how to give the name to the ligands so first if the ligands are the negative their name ends with o so here are the some examples of the ligands you can observe how the ligands are named that are the negative ligands so first is the fluorine chlorine bromine so different ligands are named depending on their names and ends with o so here are the some again some ligands are there which are the name here so that is the mercapto thiocyanato thiosulfato carbonato acetato and nitrito so these are the negative ligands their names ends with o now we will see the neutral ligands so the neutral ligands they are named as such without giving any prefix or the suffix to them so see here some examples of the ligands so there are the neutral ligands nh3 that is amine h2o aqua n2 dinitrogen next is ethylene diamine and pyridine so these are the neutral ligands and they are named as it is now names of the positive ligands so the positive ligands they are named as a ending with iium so first here the example that is no plus that is the nitrosonium next is the naming the ambidentate ligands now you can observe here how to give the name to the ambidentate ligands means the ligands which have the more than one attaching atoms so in the ligands which have the more than one attaching atoms the names are written like this so first example no2 in this you can observe it is the name is given as nitrito n and if the, it is written as o n o then the name is nitrito o so in this the nitrito o o is the attaching atom and in nitrito n n is the attaching atom similarly the thiocyanide so thiocyanide yes in this yes is the attaching atom and if the thiocyanide n then n is the attaching atom so in this way we can name the ligands now order of naming the ligands how to give the order of the name of the ligands is The ligands are named depending alphabetical order with respect to of their other positive negative or neutrals now see here in example na platinum br cl no2 nh3 so in this example you can observe that there are the four different ligands attached to the platinum and how the ligands are named in the order so the order of the ligand here is it is the, the first we have to write amine next bromo next chloro and then nitrito n so that is the order of ligand in according to the alphabetical order now prefixes and di tri tetra hexa are used for the ligands to indicate the number of the ligands how many numbers of the ligands are present in the complexes so see here example ag nh3 2 so in here the two nh3 ligands are present therefore the name is diamine silver so diamines the two amines are there if the ligands name already have the, the prefixes like di and tri then we have to use the some another prefixes like bis tris tetra bis like this so in this example you can observe cu en2 so forth so here the ligand is ethylene diamine so the ligand already has the di word is used therefore we have to use the the prefix like bis so the name is bis ethylene diamine copper to sulfate now the bridging ligands so bridging ligands means the ligands which are on the bridging between the two metal atoms so the bridging ligands are named by the prefixes mu so what is the name of this complex so this complex is named like that is a bis 
ethylene diamine cobalt 3 mu imido mu hydrides so mu means that are the, the two ligands they are the bridging between these two metal atoms so that is the name is this ethylene diamine cobalt 3 mu imido mu hydroxo ethylene diamine cobalt 3 ion now we will see how we give the name to the metal atoms so in the complexes the metal atoms they are named if the metal atom is the cationic then the name is written as it is without any change in the name so see here the complex ml y here the metal is the cationic or the complex is the cationic so, therefore the name of the metal is as it is so see the example co nh3 cl cl2 so the name of the complex is pentamine chloro cobalt 3 chloride so the name of the metal is cobalt because the complex is cationic so without any changes of the metal name we have to write as it is now next we will see if the complex is the anionic means if the complex is anionic then we have to give the suffix ate so see here the example that is x ml so in this the complex is the anionic so we have to give the name like this so example is there so k2 co nh3 2 cl4 so in this the complex is anionic so the name of the complex is the name of the metal is written like that the potassium diamine tetra cobalt so the name of metal cobalt is ends with a t e now we will see some names of metal atoms how their names ends if the complex is cationic and if the complex is anionic so first is scandium name as it is if the complex is anionic it will become scandate next titanium titanate next vanadium vanadate chromium chromate Magnes, magnet, iron, ferrite, cobalt, cobalt, nickel, nickelate, copper, cuprate, and zinc, zinc. So, like this, the names of all the metals changes with the suffix AT if the complex is anion. Now, we will see how to write the oxidation state of central metal ion. So, central metal ion oxidation state it is designated by the roman numeral such as 1 2 3 etc in the bracket now the oxidation state is written in the bracket at the end of the name of the complex without the space so see here the example is given that is the co nh35 cl cl2 so in this the name of the complex it is the pentamine chloro cobalt 3 so 3 is its oxidation state the chloride now we will see the some examples so one example that is the platinum cl no2 nh34 so now how to write the name of this complex so first we will see the cationic name before the anion so the cationic part is the coordination sphere and the sulfate it is the counter ion it goes to the last now the ligands are named before the metal so in the alphabetical order so here the total three ligands are there and their names are in the alphabet that is ammonia that is amine chlorine that is the chloro and nitrito n so they are written in this alphabetical order and then we have to write the name of the complexes that is the tetra amine so the tetra amine that is the four amines are there so we have to write the name that is the tetra amine now the complex is cationic hence the name of the metal is written as it is that is the platinum so it is a platinum now the oxidation state of central metal atom that is the platinum it we have written in the bracket its oxidation state is 4 so we have written to its oxidation state in the bracket after the name of the metal atom so the correct name of the compound is tetraamine chloro nitrito n platinum for sulfate so the order of naming the ligand that is the tetraamine so amine is alphabetic order a then is chlorine c then nitrito n and name of the metal it is as it is, that is the platinum and next is the its oxidation set 4 and after that we have to write the sulfate so the cationic part is named first and then the anionic part now we will see some examples so here are the examples of some compounds given for your study that is the tetramine triaqua chromium 3 chloride next is tris ethene 1 2 diamine cobalt 3 sulfate so like this all are the examples of the coordination compounds for your study you can see all the examples and you can learn how to give the IUPAC names to the coordination compound so thank you friends for listening the video thank you